Good evening. Good evening, you beautiful people. Uh, thank you for coming out for some Glowin basketball as they play Claire today. Uh, appreciate you guys from wherever you guys are coming from, like maybe like Hawaii or something. No, I'm actually wearing a Hawaiian shirt right now, so shout out to all you Hawaiians. And uh, it's time for the national anthem in a few seconds. Who has battled or 
Lord continues to battle with this awful disease called cancer. Number two, Brady Garrett. In memory of Grant and Mike. Number four, Lucas B. In honor of Grandma Metz. Number 11, Nick Wheeler. In honor of Aunt Jen. here as Claire wins the tip. See what they do offensively. Should have a fun night lined up for us. Should. Only one point separated these teams last time they played earlier in the season. So, oh, nice defense there. Look like Peters with the block. But that one gets a quick defensive stop. Great way to start the game. See if they can start out well offensively too. Mead with the three. No good. Player looking to push the ball up court. They slow things down. Try to get it down low, but Mead is there with the steal. Oh, nice cut, nice pass. He can finish though.
Well, I'm doing a good job defensively so far. Haven't let any open shots really. A nice job closing out there. I think a, an important thing to note, Claire's size matches up really well with Gladwin. No team really has the advantage here in terms of height or size. The three bounces in for Claire. I'll start out with 3-0. So if one of these teams really wants to break it open, it's, it's going to have to be through just staying disciplined, staying true to your play calling. Really is able to save the ball there. Peter's no good. Down low. And, oh, they call a foul on the floor. So basket will not count. And that's just a freebie for Claire. You gotta keep your feet planted as a defender there. Dalton Peters is a really tall kid, so no Stand. need to really get up there and jump for that. Nope. Hard to get it over him already. Just staying tall. Is it dry down low? Oh, what a finish there. Montgomery with the finish there. Clears up 5 0. Ball stoned by Claire. They look to push it down. Make the layup and transition. Michael Brown will have to call a timeout. The Claire starts off a hot 7 0 run. Yeah, and Claire's defense has just been really strong to start. Gladwin just really looking to find some answers. Yeah. They haven't really got any good shots. Gladwin hasn't. So. Claire's doing a good job of keeping him on the perimeter, not letting him have any good looks. So we'll see what uh Looks like Peters came out for a Gladwin. Down came in. Does he get down on McDonald? He tries to shoot a fade in, block, with a three bound. No good. Claire looking to push the ball, push the tempo. Now they slow things down. Ball is loose. Brady able to come away with it. Great kick pass. it down court. Great pass. McDonald scores the first points for Glowen. Just great vision for both Garrett and the able to pick apart that clear defense. They had numbers and they took advantage of it. Now the defense gets a turnover here. And that timeout, subbing Cade McDonald in was a spark they needed. Looks like it. We'll see if they can uh, replicate what they did last time on offense. It out. Wheeler with the three. No good. Gets his own rebound. Well, and having a little bit of trouble finding a good look. Yeah, I'd like to see them move he around. Drives in. It's fouled. I'd like to see Glavin move around a little bit more on offense. There's some cuts going. Just try and mix it up. Try to confuse the Claire defenders. You want to make it difficult for the other team, so. Yeah. Seth Mead is shooting 68% from free throw line this season. As he shoots two. First one is good. He 
He makes them both. Well, and cuts the deficit down the four. Isaac Hill comes in. Wheeler stepping off. Looks like Lowen's in some sort of like trap or something. Ball goes out of bounds. Stay with Claire. What was Glowen doing there defensively? I don't know if they're just trying to mix it up, keep Claire on their toes. It's a good thing to throw a few different looks at a team early on in the game. Keep them from settling into a bit of a rhythm early. Yeah. So Claire looks to move the ball around here. Do some. They get it down low. Kick it out for three. No good. Hale with the rebound. Got the numbers. Meet in transition. Oh, oh appears he just slips out of his hands. Now Claire in transition. Oh, what up? Interception by Brady Garrett. Just turned around, picked it off with one hand. Seth Me with a three. It's good. Go. High game. Claire going fast. That one's rolling now. Claire with their three. That one's good. So Claire. So it all good. You can shoot. You want to shoot a three? We can do that too. Both teams sending a message. No team's gonna go down easy here. Nope. That one kind of slows things down. Opposite of what Claire just did there. Me for three. That one's all good. A Seth Mead with a steal. Claire able to recover. Here's. Oh. Call foul on Garrett, I think. It's like, that was interesting. It was. Here's a call as an offensive foul there. I think what was that, moving screen? Yeah, it looked like it. So glad we'll get the ball. Haggard's getting a little pushy now. They try to get it down low to McDonald. Ball slow. Player pushing the ball down court. They kick it out. Half court, across the court, my bad. They try to kick it out. Look at me with the steal. Shot block. Oh, put back no good by Hale. And if, I'm, if I'm Lucas there, you gotta recognize when you have numbers and when you have don't, when you don't, excuse me. As Lucas me gets a steal there. That's the same thing there. Some like you gotta you gotta know when you have numbers and when you don't. Really? Sometimes you just have to slow it down and run your offense. I think he hopped a little too far. He was like underneath the hoop almost when he shot that. Five second violation called on Claire. Allowing ball. Six seconds left in the quarter. Seth gets it down to his brother, who kicks it out to Brady Garrett for three. It's good. 10 10. All tied up. I know Brady Garrett had one of his best shooting games of his career last year against Claire uh, here in the same gym. Let's see if he can try and replicate that tonight. Pass is, uh, pass is broken up by Hale, but it went, off off of, it went out of bounds off of him. So Claire will have 21, 21 seconds left. Despite what the student section is counting down from. 
Always good to see them involved. <laughs> that one didn't quite work on Claire, though. This ball is stolen. Now they might need a countdown. Six seconds left. Stephanie with the ball. Drives in. Tries to do something. No good. I see just like a little too much sauce on that one. <laughs> yeah, that was like a Josh Allen throw there. <laughs> Incomplete. And now in between the quarters, we're going to have our uh, Miracle Minute. It's all tied up here, 10-10. Beginning of our first quarter, Glenn will have the ball. There will be inbound uh, Seth Mead. He gets it down low. A little too aggressive defense there, I guess. Foul is called. Yeah, and that one could have gone both ways. Personally, I thought that was a bit of a weak call. But maybe will be in Bonin. Nice cut there by McDonald. Wasn't even prepared for that. Is that shot's no good by Claire? I think it's the first time glum has been leading this whole game, right? I believe it is. Let's see if they can extend the lead here. if Mead drives down low, passes it to his brother Lucas Mead who finishes it. 14-10, glove. That's just good, patient offense. Didn't force anything, waited for a good look. Got it inside. There's a nice cut by Lucas and a nice pass by his brother. His defense for Gladwin has showed out now. Get another stop. It's clear we'll have to call a timeout after that little run by Glawin. Glawin's getting it rolling on both ends of the floor. Crowd's getting into it. It's just what you want if you're Glawin. For sure. There's a student section chance timeout needed. Glowin's looking to extend their four-point lead. Claire looking to change momentum here. Maybe get a defensive stop. Garrett almost lost the ball. Now picked up his dribble. They get it down to McDonald down low. It was fouled. Effortless it. Right in. 
It's a nice little pass in, just shut up. Seth Me with the steal and the layup. 18 10. That one's coming really aggressive right now. It's been paying off. That one's tipped. Player gets back on the board with. It looked like nice Glavin was going to get a takeaway there, but Claire comes down with it. And that wants to make Claire's job easier right there. <laughs> it, yeah. Now that it's only a six point deficit for Claire. Glavin looking to respond. He drives in. No good, but he gets his rebound. Gets a shot. Plowing up eight now. Oh. Tipped right, it just went right to hell. Well, that Lucas Mead in tempo. Oh, Lucas Mead layup, no good. Players pushing the tempo now. As they cut into the deficit. Yeah, both teams are playing really fast. They are. Let's see if Gladwin kind of slows things down here. Looks like they do a little bit. Ball goes out of bounds, stay with Gladwin. Slow things down a lot there. They did. Gladwin's controlling the tempo though, and I think that's what's important. Right now they have the lead, so yeah. When they want to go fast, they can go fast, and when they want to slow it down, they can. So Lucas Mead just slowly walks the ball up. The things have kind of quiet down too in here in the gym. Donald makes a nice little jumper. Brady and uh, Seth Mead being a pest there. But then they're picking up the foul. Garrett's one that picked up the foul there. Now Garrett will come off and Jace Massey will come in. Player drives in. Shot was no good. But he's fouled. Isaac Hill is the one with the power there. Okay, it'll be shooting two. First shot's good. Cardi comes in and Hill will step off. Second one, no good. D down low. Shot, no good. Declare ball. As you can see, our student section packed the house tonight. They did. They showed out. Look at them. They seem so happy to be here. Look at them. Oh, they're waving. A little fist pump there. As you can see, 
some people chilling up there. You got the student section and then the people skipping out on the student section. Yup. Claire will be inbounded here as the Glowin's up 22-15. Claire looking to chip into that lead. Glowin playing very aggressive defense. Almost pays off. Claire was able to keep it. Nice little poke there by Massey. But ball goes out of bounds. Claire ball. They get it in. Shot no good. They get down low to Lucas Mead. The shot's good, and he's fouled. He's shooting one. And he was just wide open down low. Whoa. Looks like the clear defender just reacted came a little too, too much. Jumped a little too high yeah. and came down and fouled him. This free throw is good. Nice little three-point play there for him. As they extend their lead to 10. Claire kind of settles down. Lost the ball. Goes out off of Claire. Claire will get the ball now. Yeah, they're trying to get it to Porter there, but. Move out of the way at the last second. Ball just fell harmlessly out of bounds. It's a call foul on Seth Lee, looks like there. Claire looking to uh, get this deficit down in the single digits. They get it down low. Shot no good. Put back no good. But it's kicked out. Seems like Connerty picked up a foul there. And I think that was more just both players' momentum yeah. running into each other. Really nothing Connerty could do there. Nope. He's going for the ball and he's just a little too late. Player drives in. Fakes out two people. I don't even think he realized. No, well, shot no good, but they kick it out for three. It's good. Looks like the basket's gonna count though. That was an interesting call. Yes. So. The three counts and Gladwin gets the ball. Oh well, yeah. Basically what normally happens when someone makes a basket, but yeah, a little bit extra this time. Hey, there's a foul now. As D comes off for Gladwin. Uh, Hill comes in. Steal by Claire. Pushing down. It's fouled. Nasty with the foul. Glowin's getting a little too aggressive now. Nope. And Oliver shooting a one on one. First one's good, so we'll get another. Oh, 
It makes them both. Five point deficit for Claire. Glowin looking to respond. Glowin's been on a little bit of a drought, but. Oh, oh nice pass to me. Oh, stay with Glowin. Oh, it's looking like we all got some alley hoop action there with how high Lucas Mead got. Almost. Would have been cool. As uh, Maxi comes off with Wheeler replacing him. Does he get it in and down? The shot is good. And the foul. Just like they drew it up. He didn't really like, catch it. He just like hit his hands and boom. Shooting. McDonald is shooting 40.6% from the free throw line. As that one is no good. But Hill with the rebound. They get it back up top to Seth Mead. Only 140 left in the half. Ball almost thrown for Mead. But takes up top. Ball stolen by Claire. Spins around. Call for a travel. They tried to like do a little spin there. One too many steps. Yep, now it's Glowin's ball. Student section's gonna let him hear it now. Oh yeah. So there's one ten left. Almost lost the ball there. As he drives in. Shot block. Or I don't know. This is off the glowing. Clear ball. Fifty seconds left. That one's still trying to trap. And it does not pay off. Or maybe it does. Nope. As they get a layup and a foul. Free throws no good. Hill with the rebound. Take your time here. Don't let Claire have another opportunity. And I'll have 30 seconds. Either so. you get the last points or nobody does. Yeah. It's good mentality. So like 15 seconds left. Lucas Mead drives down low. No good. Claire got the ball, but he slid. Traveled. That one I'll have the ball in their half with 9.6 left. This time you gotta be a little bit quicker. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just me with the ball. With the jumper. No good. And they only get shot up. So going to the half, it's Glowin's up, 27, 22. Good half for Glowin. This appears uh, they're gonna be a little shoot for some pop, you know? I think they're gonna, I think you make a three, get a pop, one dollar for a shot, right? I, I can't confirm any numbers for you. Well, that's what I'm going with, guys, so. We'll see if these guys can, uh, if anyone can make a three or not. You know, if I was out there, it'd be easy money. I'd be gonna pop easily. Well, why don't you go out there then? 
You know what? Now you say that, I gotta go. All right, Hunter's getting in line to shoot now. Got the ball. Gives it a few bounces, pulls up. Oh, it rims out. I guess that's why he's up here calling the games. And oh, he gets a second shot. That won't fall either. Maybe third time's a charm. And he got it. like the AV club just got themselves a two liter of pop. That's for all of us. All right, we'll let you enjoy the rest of halftime in peace.
Alright, we got our victory A&W here. Mr. Cherry's son is joining us. Alright, guys. Hi, we're back. Oh, oh, oh. Nice play there. Dalton Peters starting the second half, second half off with a bang. It is. See if offensively they can start off with a bang. And they don't, that will be a no. Hey, you can't win them all. So we're gonna reset. They're looking to make a little comeback here, you know? It's not a big comeback. They're only down like, what, five? That would be five points. Thank you. Thanks for the confirmation, Liam. Yep. And, uh, hey. Now it's three. Away. Five minus two, this. Yep. We're pretty good at this math thing. Uh, they don't pay me the big bucks for nothing. <laughs> yeah? No, I actually am not being paid. This is like, oh, Seth, maybe for a three, no good. the floor. Player with a foul. Looks like he like jumped over a uh, Dalton Peters back. Mead. Hmm? I thought he was about to take a three. Looked like that was their first look. It wasn't there though. Player converts in transition. It's a one point game. Three minus two. One. Now, oh, if you're glad when you're, you probably want to score some points, don't you? And they do. Lucas, now, Mead, Lucas Mead knows what's going on. He does. Now, what's the deficit now? I don't know. I think it's like three guys. Play with a nice little jumper, no good. Seth Mead with the rebound, turns the ball over, nope. Uh, yeah, they'll fight for the ball. Everybody's on the floor. Yeah, that was a little crazy. But Piers will stay with a little bit of the ball. It's always good to see you guys on the floor. Hustling, trying Hustling. to get, giving it their all. Laying it all out on the court, both figuratively and literally. Yeah, they say if you don't leave with a good floor burn, you didn't play hard enough, so. Yeah. Everyone making sure they leave with their battle scars tonight. Trying to get some floor burns as the ball is stolen. Oh, 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 Wheeler with a nice chase on block to what they score anyways. Yeah, you only saw Lucas Mead. He was able to fake him out, but... Yeah, Lucas went flying. Nick Wheeler was stalking right behind him. Oh, pass across the court. I think that shot was blocked a little. That's a nice little pass there. Player now has a lead. The first lead of the half. And Coach Vernon will have to call a timeout. Hopefully uh, stop this momentum that Claire has picked up. Try and recoup. Just do what they did last half. Keep, keep Claire on their toes when Claire's on offense. You're doing a good job with your half court trap. I think if you keep that up, mm -hmm. uh, Glad we'll be able to shift momentum back in their favor. We're not on. Uh, 
right. Got some freshman and JV players there. receives the inbounds pass. It's like players gonna come out in a little bit of a trap of their own now. And they're like, you can do that, well we can too. It's Blount and Blight's going slow, so why not make them speed up? Works me with a baseline drive. It's fouled. A little bit of a foul there. A little bit. He's shooting two free throws. Hoping uh, we take the lead. Going into the game, Lucas Mead was shooting 60.8% for the free throw line. And we'll see what he does here. First one over, good, short, off the front of the rim. Second one also no good. They're looking to push the ball down court. They end up kicking it out. Trying to Here's a bounced off of Garrett. Still still clear. Playing pretty good defense so far. Oh! Ball and Peters. Turn the lights out. He said, no, no, no. Not in his house. Drives in with a nice little floater, no good. Nice rebound there by Lucas Mead. Pushing the ball up court. Oh, kind of just rolls the ball. I don't know what that was. Ball almost stolen. Out of bounds, glamour ball. Looking to recapture the lead here. Stephanie drives in. No good. Peters with the put back. And they do retake the lead here. 31 30. So they're doing a good job of being that little trap or the thing they're doing. For three. No good. Peters with the rebound. Don Peters catching fire right now on the defensive yeah. end. Seth Mead tries to drive in. Goes out of bounds. I guess he'll stay with Glavin though. Gary for three. No good. Jump ball. So little position. Let's do with Glowen. Need to get in the Garrett. Drives 
Tries to get it down low to Peters. That Broken pass, up. Pass was just a little too far inside. Was. Now Claire looking to uh, retake the lead. Gets it down low. Nice little layup. Beautiful pass there. Got right over him. Claire now has the lead. Vaughn Peters is draped all over him too. It's not easy to get a shot up against Peters. No, as he's already shown. Now Glavin looking to respond. Let's see what Garrett drives in. Lay up off the glass. Out of bounds. Still gone. That was great footwork by Brady Garrett. Was. He cut right through the lane, got past all defenders, just didn't have the touch off the glass. Nope. So Peters will come off for Glowen with McDonald replacing him. As they get it into McDonald, he drives. He's fouled. So Glowen will be inbounding once again. Ray looked wide open there, but didn't see him. Be up top to uh, Mead. Lucas drives in. Tries to roll it in. Can't. Able to save it though. Wheeler with a jumper. No good. Wheeler with a rebound. Out to Steph Mead for three. It's good. Two point lead for Glowen. See him lots of lead changes now. Back and forth. Claire looking to respond now. Pass intercepted by Seth Mead. Lucas Mead for three. Bang. On that. The brother the brother connection is good for three. As Glavin jumps to a five point lead. The Mead brothers are making their, putting their stamp on this game. Yep. Seth's like, Lucas saw Seth make that a three and he's like, you know what? I can do that too. This player will have to call a timeout. Hopefully stop the momentum. I did a nice little run there by Glavin with the back-to-back -back threes. Claire will look uh, to respond, see what they do. Glavin playing really tight defense on the yeah. perimeter. They were able to get a three off, that's no good. Glowin kind of slows things down. Lucas me with another three. This one no good. Glowin not able to get a rebound there. Wheeler with a steal in transition. About to get trapped, able to get it out to Seth. So only 43 seconds left in the quarter. Yeah. Try and run as much time down as you can, as you can here. Excuse me. Almost down to 30 now. By the way, Glowin's moving the ball around. They might take up this rest of the clock. Only 15 seconds left now. 10 seconds. Seth Mead for three. 
No good. Clever with the rebound. I mean, we'll get a shot off. So we're in the third quarter. We're flying up 37 32. Right, we'll get the ball to start the fourth and final quarter. Looking to chip into this low and lead. I'm playing very tight defense. since this quarter and we still haven't got a shot up. But we have a drive and a layup and a foul. Good patience there from Claire. Paid off. Paid off and they get the plus one here on the end if they can knock it now. Right now they have a three point lead but sorry guys. Looks like they have a dispute right now about who the foul was on. Huh. Foul is no, the free throw is no good. Get down to McDonald, who is fouled. This time, no dispute. Yep. Glowing dishes the ball around. Just working the ball around the perimeter. Now I'll slow things down. Oh, ball is stolen. Good job by Lucas Mead there, not following. Yeah, that was just a bad pass by Brady Garrett. Oh. Lucas Mead really was not open at all, and he gave it right to the other team. Now it's only a three point. Never mind, make that a five point lead for all. Uh, for... I think you had it right. Yeah. I get it down low. Shot is no good, but he is fouled. First free throw is no good. Oh, 
Second one also no good, but Claire gets the rebound. Almost lost the ball. And they get it down low. Shot is good. I guess he makes up for it there. He does. It's only a one point lead for the round now. McDonald drives in. He's up finish. He's weaved in there. Like a freight train. Can't stop him. Nope. That was a good response there by Glowen. Ball stolen by Seth Mead in transition. Raise it up and in. Send this lead to five. Garrett playing very tight defense there. Offensive foul call. Might have been like a moving screen or something. Gets it up past half court. Here's Gla uh, Claire's playing like a zone or something. Yeah, they're in their half court trap and uh, they're trying to keep Gladwin on the perimeter. They don't want him to have any easy looks inside. Oh. McDonald with the rebound and the put back. Seven point lead for Gladwin. 450 left in the game. For Gladwin, this is right where you want to be, right? Exactly. Just got to be able to maintain that lead. Yeah, got to finish out. Make him work for a shot. This time. As Lucas Mead with the steal. Drives in. Oh. Ball goes out of bounds. Stay with Glowen. That was just a great poke. Was. Because if he doesn't poke that. Lucas is probably getting a layup. Seth Mead with a long two, I think. No good. They get in the McDonald. Who is foul. Claire's in foul trouble now. Is McDonald will be shooting a one on one. It's the last thing you want if you're Claire. Especially oh. being down. Already having him in the bonus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> McDonald makes the free throw. So he'll be rewarded with another one. Second one's no good, but Lucas Mead with the rebound and the put back. Ten point lead for Glowen late in the game. Trying oh. to put it away right now. Double digit lead with about four minutes left. Probably going to be. And that's why Claire will have to pull a timeout here. Momentum is not in their favor right now. No, it's certainly not. Maddie Cantrell has won a jersey. Pretty crazy stuff. You know, I give a little shout out to Miss Walsh Lago, also known as Meemaw. I don't know if you're watching or Oh, is she in the crowd? I can't tell her though. She's probably somewhere in the crowd, right? I don't know. I don't know, but shout out to you. Oh, 
player has a ball right now. Listen to Sprintel. Spin move. Nice little spin cycle there. Nice little the finish. Two points. Her fouls. Not really a foul you want to be given right there. No, you still have you still have enough time to be able to let Levin have a possession and you don't need a foul yet. Way out there. I don't know. But Mead will be uh Seth Mead will be shooting uh one and one. Misses the three throw. I guess it pays off. Yeah. As Claire Droot goes down. Is blocked by Nick Wheeler. Ball oh, foul on Lucas now. Player here, you don't want to waste too much time scoring, but I want to make sure you get a good look, you know? Absolutely. An eight point deficit isn't as as much as it can seem, so. That's a good look there. As he's fouled. Lavin crowd not too happy with that one. Huh. Looks like a good call down on the floor. Yeah. Nice pass by Seth Mead to McDonald, who hits a little fader. No good. Ball poked by Garrett. And Garrett ends up with it. Just the turnover they need. That one needs to slow it down now. They do. Milk as much clock as you can. So Fouls call on Claire. Free throw is good. And makes them both. Clown hits the 50 mark. And now they have a seven point lead with 304 left. Player drives in. It's fouled. It's not Mead has four fouls now. Not the player you want to be having being in foul trouble. No, you gotta be careful not on the stretch. Because he has 12 points in this game. He's one of the better free throw shooters. Free throws good for Claire. I'm not call timeout. I don't know if you guys just caught that little glimpse of uh, our uh, dedicated cameraman at work. Ave Reed and uh, Jared, also known as JJ Hall. We appreciate all they do here for AV. Because now we're back in action. Lucas made it and bound for Glywin.
They break the press. So Meek drives in and finishes. Nice layup finish. He was. Oh. I get a steal. But now they just need to slow things down. Yeah, slow it down. You don't need points. Seven point lead. 2.30 left. Claire playing really tight defense right now. Tim Freeland wants to figure things out with his team. Calls a timeout. I don't know about that one. Lavin was doing exactly what they needed to do. But he wants to make sure everything is set out. Extra on the buzzer there. A little crazy. Glad will be inbound here. Lucas Mead with the inbound. 212 left. All Glad is looking to do is just run the clock. So that's in a dangerous spot. He turns the ball over. Yeah, and that's why I didn't like the timeout. You just gave Claire a free opportunity to draw up a play and find a way to get that ball back. Glenn finally gets things figured out. Turn it down with Claire, like, hop step, play up. Every time it looks like Claire's gonna make a run at this, Gladwin has an answer. We'll see if they continue to have an answer. Player shot no good. Seth Mead with the rebound. 125 left in the game. It's fouled. Seth Mead was shooting two free throws. Because they're now in that double bonus. First free throw is up and good. Makes them both. Nine point lead for Glowin. Oh. Tough there for Claire. They're gonna get it right back now. I don't know why you were trying to get a shot there. Yeah, that was an interesting call. Just inbound and let them follow you. Or just run the clock. This Claire takes a nice little jumper. No good. Freddy Gary is fouled. He'll be shooting too. First free throw is good. Yeah, makes them both. Well, with a double digit lead. Less than a minute to go. 
Here's McDonald's call for a foul. Lavin just really doesn't have any reason to be following right now. This game, is, this game is pretty much out of reach. Got a little too aggressive there. Those good. This is the second one. Lucas me believing wrong. I see his grab. So he'll be shooting too. A little bit of a hold there. Meade's first right there is no good. This is the second one also. Uh, going quick. It's only got 45 seconds left. Get okay, down low. Quickly down to eight. Glad I'm able to get it in cleanly. Oh. Doing stuff. Maybe just call for a foul there. We cleared the ball. Yeah, Seth, Seth gave him a little bit of a shove in the end. Good. Once again, it's really no need for you to be following if you're glad. And this game's oh. over if you just play a clean game. Oh. You don't need to shoot yourself in the foot here. They got That's going to be Seth Mead's fifth. He's going to come out. Is that a good game, though? 16 points. They're looking nice. Uh, they're going quick. They get down low again. Another easy basket. Only They're six still kicking. It's only a two they possession foul. game now. They need to foul fast. They do. They foul now with 13.7 left in the game. Freddie Gary will be shooting two free throws. You're clear. You're just praying that he misses both of these. This is his first. What do you mix a second? All seven point lead for Glowen. So for three, no good. They get the rebound. But Massey with that steal. And that will about do it. As Glowen hangs on to be a tough conference uh, rival here. 59-52. I'll get the series sweep as well. Yeah. And that about wraps it up here, guys, for uh, the Claire versus Glowen game here on Coaches versus Cancer, Cancer Night. Uh, shout out to all you beautiful people out there. And so, yeah, about it.